1.7.10. Uh, now there's a few things you're going to need to get started. Uh, obviously you can change some of this up depending on the exact mod pack you're using, but obviously you'll need a crafting table. You will need some sort of power source. In this particular case, I'm using a couple of wind uh, turbines from Mechanism. Um, connected to a basic energy cube for mechanism and you also need a pulverizer or something that is capable of crushing things into dust. Um, that's the very basics that you need before you even start looking at even a remotely, remotely, remotely beginner uh, matter energy system. So the first thing you're going to need to learn to do in this is you need to be able to make an energy acceptor. I'm not going to show all the recipes, but the reason why I'm going to show this one just this time is because I want to show you the very first thing you're going to have to learn about is Fluix Crystals. Fluix Crystals are an item you cannot find in the world. You actually have to craft them yourselves, but if you go to NEI, it doesn't really tell you, you know, it doesn't give you a recipe. It actually tells you specifically what you need to do. So what we're going to do to make a Fluix Crystal, you are going to create yourself or, you know, find yourself uh, some sort of nice little watering hole. It can be a river or an ocean or whatever. I usually use like a little one by one uh, water hole just to make sure that everything is all nice and neat for me. Uh, you will also need some surface quartz crystals. You will need some, sorry, I take that back. You need some charged surface quartz crystals. You need some redstone and you need some nether quartz. And then all you do is you basically go ahead and you just throw all three of these items into that pool of water. When all three are in there, you're gonna get a couple of little fancy effects and fluke crystals are gonna grow out of the woodwork. So now you have your first set of fluke crystals and you get an achievement to boot. Um, so that is basically the first thing you need to learn. Uh, there will be easier ways of making Fluix Crystals later on, depending on the mod pack you use, but that's the, the short, short version of how to do it. Once you have done that, you need to make yourself your Energy Acceptor. The Energy Acceptor is fairly simple to make. It will require uh, Quartz Glass as well, which is, of course, another recipe. Uh, let's just go ahead and craft all this right now. All right, we're going to actually quickly combine some of this into here. This is why we need the pulverizer, because you need to be able to make some basic dust. And... Energy cell, quartz glass. There we go. All right, so we make four quartz glass. And then from there, we want to make the energy acceptor. Just like so. Uh, once the energy acceptor is down, this is basically what's going to convert RF or whatever kind of energy you typically use. Uh, I believe IC2 power will work as well. And just plop it down attached to your energy grid. This will convert the power from your energy system into what, uh, to what Applied Energistics uses. They're AE units. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but they're AE units. We're, we'll just go with that. Once you've done that... Now you can actually start building out your ME system. The first thing that you're going to want to do after this is you are going to want to make an inscriber, which uh, I've already got one crafted. It's a very simple process. There's nothing special about it. You just need to have one of those Fluix crystals in order to make it. And you just plop it down. There you go. You officially have a matter energy system that does nothing more except allow you to create processors now at this point. Uh, the inscribers, what they do is they actually will craft um, specialized items that are specific to expanding your ME network. Um, the way it works is basically you, will, you have one of four different presses available to you. Uh, you have Calculation, Engineering, Logic, and Silicon. The Silicon is kind of a universal one, which I'll show momentarily, but these are your three primary types of process you can get. So depending on what you want to make, you will need one of these presses to make the processes you need. So for example, one of the first things that we're going to want to make is an ME drive, which is, when it loads up here, the ME drive is the primary form of matter energy storage in the system. And you need a couple of basic components. Uh, you, but the big thing is you need engineering processors to do this. So to do an engineering processor, you basically need some diamonds. And there's the diamonds. All right, so you need some diamonds. 
you basically put uh, the particular press you need. In this case, it is the engineering processor in the top here. And then you just put the diamond into the slot here. And then if everything's working, you will see this bar slowly go up. When it's completed, you will get yourself a printed circuit of whatever type you're trying to make. In this case, because we know we need two processors, we are going to make two circuits. When you have done that, you need also some silicon, and that is produced with the silicon press. Now, you need raw silicon. Now, depending on your mod pack and, uh, and all that, there are going to be different ways of obtaining silicon. For my particular purpose, the best way for me to obtain silicon is by pulverizing sand. Uh, this is with the EVCraft mod pack that I'm using to showcase this. Every piece of sand will produce one raw silicon. Once you have the silicon, you basically go over here and you do uh, you put that in here, same way you did with the diamonds, and that will make the uh, that will make the printed silicon for you. The printed silicon, and we need one for every uh, processor we plan to make. So in this case, we just need two. There we go, all that. Then after that. You put in the new circuit, you put in a piece of redstone, you put in the printed silicon, it will then again do its thing. And we're done. All right, so that is our first processor, and then we'll do this to make the second processor. All right, so now we have the two processors that we require in order to make our ME drive. Now the other thing that we're going to need for this drive is going to be, whoops, the other thing we're going to need for this drive, stupid any guy, is this: is we need uh, flux glass cables, which are relatively simple to make. Quartz fibers use basically glass and some dust, so they're relatively simple to craft. And we just go like that. Okay. So there's our drive. All right, so with that all done, plop that next to here, you now officially have a storage device that you can't actually use yet for anything. That's a whole other thing. The next thing you need to craft after this. Uh, so basically, basically with the uh, with the setup that we have here, you've got your energy acceptor. Um, the ME system does move from machine to machine in the ME network. Uh, there's a whole channel system, which I'll explain into a different tutorial, but the short version is to start until you get more advanced, you're limited to eight matter energy things connected to a single network. So in this particular case, the, uh, I think the drive is the only one that actually counts as a machine in this, but, um, in this particular case, um, you know, we can just attach them right next to each other. Just as long as they're connected to the matter energy acceptor, we're all good. You can also use these cables if you want to expand the network without, uh, let's get myself a pickaxe. There we go. All right, so let's go like that. And then if we wanted to put this down here, we could simply do that. Perfect. And that would expand the network however we saw fit. Um, now, the only two things we need left to have our initial basic system is we need a, a terminal that will allow us to actually access our ME drive. And we need a disk that goes in here that kind of works like a hard drive for the matter energy system. Uh, we're gonna start off with the disk. The disk is going to require some gold. So let's snag a bit of that. And, uh, and that basically, the way the disk is done is there are different volumes of it. Uh, let's look just for storage cells just to show you them. Um, basically the higher tiers of them that you have here, these are what you're looking for, the ME storage cells. The higher tiers of them will hold more stuff, but when you're first starting out, you're probably gonna wanna start off just with a 1K, maybe a 4K, depending on how much work you wanna put into it, just to kinda get the ball rolling. So let's do that and now to make that it's a relatively simple recipe but you need one of these 1k me storage components which requires a logic processor which we can see right here uh, the logic processor basically works the exact same way 
except that it requires gold rather than diamonds. So you find the inscriber logic press, get some gold, pop that in here. And there's one. Now in this case, I'm gonna actually make two drives just to make my life a little bit simpler. So we'll just put these back in. Actually, we gotta do the silicon first. Done. All right. And then we just put these items in redstone. I'll create the one. So create the other. Perfect. And then from there, we just make the storage cells like that. And then we go and we make the actual drives. Uh, we don't have the, uh, the course glass. There we go. And there's a second one. We'll be back for now. And then all you do is you put each drive that you manage to get, you put those into each storage cell, I should say, goes into the drive here. Uh, the statuses, the green statuses indicate that they are relatively empty. They will turn orange when they're getting kind of full and red when they're absolutely maxed out. The only other item that you need in this is going to be uh, an ME terminal. I'm not gonna show you how to craft that. It's all available in NEI. but you basically just need one of these. If you want to get really crazy, you want to get really crazy and if you, um, to make it even easier for you, you can make a crafting terminal right from the start, but either one of these will work. In this case, I'll just pick the crafting terminal. Let me just pop this onto here. And we now officially have a storage system, so we can just dump stuff into here. All right, just like that. There we go. And uh, you'll actually be able to see, if you look at the statuses of stuff, this is actually has some stuff stored in it. So if I take this out, everything is missing, and I can actually migrate this to another storage system if I so desire, or whatever. But there you are. That is the very, very, very basic ME system. In an upcoming tutorial, I will show you how to expand this, how to do auto-crafting, how to do all sorts of wonderful things. But for now, that is it. Have a good one, everybody.